LEADCOM health officials announced plans today to make it easier for Erie County residents to get a COVID-19 vaccine. Brian Wilk joining us outside the LEADCOM Senior Living Center on Peach Street tonight. Sean, this morning, LEADCOM Health unveiled its new COVID-19 vaccination mobile unit. The goal of the vaccination unit is to get the vaccine, to make the vaccine more accessible to more people in Erie County. This is only another step. It's never the final step until we beat the pandemic. The new mobile unit will allow them to distribute doses of COVID-19 vaccination at pop-up clinics throughout Erie County. The number of people they can vaccinate depends on how much vaccine they can get from the state. For example, we requested 1,000 vaccines for this week. We received 500. Our, our capability is delivering 2,500 vaccines a week for now, and we can wrap that up to, to 4,000, 5,000 if we have to. The doctor says it's capable of doing testing as well as vaccinations. And the way it's set up is that it will protect the, the personnel you know, against the public so that uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of PPE. And you can see as you go through the truck. Local politicians say this is great news for our area. Uh, the more people we get vaccinated, uh, the, there's less people for the virus to host in, and uh, eventually it's just going to fizzle out, and uh, uh, you know, hopefully that's sooner than later. Those folks who are homebound or who um, have mobility issues, this is going to be able to get the vaccine. Uh, instead of them coming to the vaccine, it will be able to bring the vaccine to the people, and I think that's a really strong advantage for Erie County. Trucks facts, excuse me, the truck's design allows them to give the vaccine to multiple people at once, and there are also built-in safety measures to, to protect both the staff and the patients. Uh, for more information on when and where you can get your uh, shot at the uh, mobile clinic, you can find that information on our website, yourerie.com. Sean? Right, Brian Wilk reporting tonight. Thank you, Brian.